Can't I just die here on the beach with my fingers in the sand and the water at my feet? Can I just get some release here? Yeah, everybody Hi, my name is Matt Daniels, better known as Sticky Pop. I've been tattooing for nine years now. Welcome to my studio, season one tattoo in Preston, UK. Got some issues with my world you want I ain't not the king saint trying to be king crowns ain't the way to bring love soft touch hard hands lead to backwards and devils these mans really think they worth can be summed up in a measure sing him I'm better I'm better I'm better I'm better I'm better I get it you gotta hold your up to a measure before I was a tattoo artist I I was a graphic designer, illustrator. Um, I did a lot of freelance work for different bands like Roxanne Magazine and quite a lot of corporate stuff. Um, and just fell into tattooing accidentally, really. I also worked in retail part-time to kind of do my apprenticeship. To become a tattooist, I think it was just the, the thought that you could create something on skin. Obviously doing digital art was great, doing posters, doing skateboard designs was great but thinking, oh, I could do this on skin and somebody wear it for the rest of their life. It was amazing. Um, and that's kind of how I got started getting tattooed myself and just fell into tattooing that way. The first tattoo I ever did was a dot work crab that was on my uh, thigh. It took about seven hours, constant pain, hated every minute of it. Still there now, still solid, but never again. <laughs> I think it's actually just being able to tattoo things I enjoy and kind of getting that relationship with a client. So if they're into something I'm into, we can have that relationship throughout the day. Like for a Simpsons tattoo, we tend to watch the Simpsons during the appointment. We talk about Simpsons and it's just one of my favorite things. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, it's the best part of the job. Inspiration is everywhere, literally. I know it's very cliche, but I mean, the studio itself has got inspiration everywhere. Lots of different pictures, prints. Um, other tattooists, I love just kind of trolling through all my favourite artists going, oh my god, that is incredible. Um, yeah, even just outside, just finding little bits and pieces everywhere that I go, it's great. Um, I think my signature style is probably described as bold, colourful, some floral elements in there, like lots of similar style of leaves and petals and things like that. Kind of completely different from what I usually do, but I'd love to try like ornate kind of mandala kind of just line work based pieces. I think one of my favorite things, even though I used to be terrified of it, is line work. Um, I think good solid lines make the tattoo and I think if you can do that in like an ornamental style tattoo, brilliant. I think it's just mixing, I think mixing the neo trad elements with pop culture kind of is my style. Like, so a lot of neo trad artists do use flowers and roses and um, I think that kind of brings my style together with pop culture elements. So like an anime piece with a peony kind of just comes together quite naturally. The process, it tends to be, if it's a, a show I've never seen before, I'll try and watch some of the show if I get if I get chance. Um, alternatively, I'll just hunt down as much reference as I can, get a vague idea of what's going on. Um, and just kind of come up with some concept art, come up with some little sketches and I could go from there really. Um, adding floral elements to existing references or coming up with my own reference material. Um, I think skills over time definitely have improved tenfold. I used to be terrified of line work. I even swore to my original mentor that I'm never doing line work. I'm just gonna dot outline everything because I could not pull a line. But now it's my favorite thing. Um, and I think, especially over the past two years or so, I've just pushed myself as much as I can to kind of get better line work, better color saturation, and just constantly learning. Favourite part of the body to tattoo has to be like a calf or a shin. I think it's just such an easy place to get to. It can be a bit tough on the client, but it, as long as they're like relaxed and lay down, I think it just works really well. Ooh, favourite tattoo I've done. Um, recently I've done a couple of Studio Ghibli ones that I quite like. So I've did a Ponyo one recently, like a little fish bag, um, which was quite cute. And prior to that, there was a turnip head in like a peony from, again, from Ghibli. Um, yeah, everything's healed beautifully as well. The client, same client on both pieces. So it's just a continuous Studio Ghibli leg. I think with the vibrant colours, it's just a lot of colour packing next to a lot of black. As long as you've kind of got your dark and lights, I think that's the key element to it. Um, yeah, anything that's bright and bold, just keep packing it. Just make sure you've got the nice contrast, just so it, it the black against the colour will just pop. The studio is called Season 1 Tattoo because I originally wanted it to be multiple studios. So Season 1, Season 2 um, gives us expansion, but also Season 1, a lot of the work I do does have a season. So like Season 1 of The Simpsons or Demon, Demon Slayer Season 1. Uh, so it kind of links with my work, but again, it gives us growth. But we can also call it like Season 1, 
coffee or season one bar or you know we can expand quite easily and so i work with three other people at the moment we've got callum who mainly does like black work dot work quite um horror styled work uh, we've got lucy that does bold trad kind of um, in her own nice style um, and we've got Susie that does a lot of like floral animals she's we call her the queen of frogs because she does a lot of frog tattoos <laughs> music you can come into the studio anytime and it'll be the Krang playlist from the year 2000 that's pretty much what we live off in here just kind of going through our youth on loop <laughs> I've done a couple of collaborations with Callum and uh, we've done a couple we did a massive big stormtrooper back piece a couple of years ago but I'd love to do more um, I'd absolutely love to tattoo with an artist called Hugo, based in South Korea. He's got a very cute style. I think with my colour work and my floral work, it would work really well. Or Jack Gox, based in London, or Gox is dead on Instagram. I'd love to collaborate with him at some point, that'd be great. Quite a lot of the time, yeah, that's probably because I just binge so much TV. So I've, I've watched that many TV shows from like, lots of different anime, Dragon Ball, Attack on Titan. Simpsons, Adventure Time. I usually have a familiarity with the character, but if there's anything that I don't know, I'll try and make it an excuse to go and watch it, or um, I'll just do some good research into it. I would love to tell you some stuff from The Last of Us, whether it's just like objects, like a little knife or some of the logos and stuff. Some of my favorite things to tell you are objects from games. So The Last of Us would be great. Um, there's a game franchise called Half-Life from back in the early 2000s, and that would be great to tell you some like crowbars and things like that. I'd love to do more Keith Haring stuff. I absolutely love his work. Uh, I've got t-shirts, I've got jackets, all sorts of his artwork on. And I think it's such a striking image that I think I'd just love to do more of his work. Um, it's just incredible. The last convention that I worked was Brighton. Uh, I think it was in 2019. I was all set for going back in 2020, but obviously for the pandemic, that kind of stopped things. I also had a daughter um, who's like nearly two years old. So with the the pandemic, having a family, conventions and guess what's are quite difficult, but I'd love to do more, especially now she's getting older, so I can actually branch out of the house. With having a young daughter, I think I would let her go into tattooing, whether her mum would. I'm the only person in my family um, and the entire of our family to have tattoos and kind of have an interest in tattoos. Um, but Elva being two years old, she's very creative as she is anyway. So I think there is possibly something in there to get her into tattooing. And I'd be happy to, I'd love, I'd love to have her work with me, it'd be, it'd be nice. I used to do some little paintings and stuff in my spare time. I used to do like little acrylic um, watermelons or like little faces and stuff. And I used to paint some shoes, um, but not so much anymore. I just, again, just having a family and working here all the time. I don't really have much time at the moment for paintings and things like that. But I've recently started going to the gym more. I, my biggest thing is probably just listen to podcasts. I absolutely love a good podcast. Um, got into reading a bit more recently in comic books, but between work and home life. There isn't an awful lot of time at the moment, but I do like video games and playing Apex Legends and things like that, so. So originally I actually set out to do 151 um, Pokemon tattoos for charity. I went in my apprenticeship, that's how I got going with pop culture. I had the task of 151 Pokemon for 50 quid each with some money going towards the charity, to a charity that I was close to at the time. Um, but I kind of got about halfway through them and since then, I think I'm about 120 odd through. It's just the odd ones that nobody wants, like Weedle. <laughs> um, I don't know how many tattoos I actually have. I've got my legs are covered, my arms are covered, my back is covered. Um, it's just onto my neck next, I think. But my favorite piece, I think, is my back piece, just because it's a big spirited away piece. Haku, bathhouse, it's great. Uh, the future, I think, would just be more expansion, trying to get maybe season two, if that works out. I mean, I'm, no, I'm not in any rush to expand any further, but it's always nice to bring in new artists and new people. Um, everyone that works here, we're all friends. I've known them prior to tattooing. Um, and then, apart from that side of tattooing, I'd actually quite like to do a podcast. I think me and Callum have got an idea of doing a tattoo-related podcast. So today's piece was an Animal Crossing piece. It was um, the owl character called Celeste. Um, Nice, big, bold, colourful, um, lots of pastel pinks in there, florals, in a calf piece, it was really nice. I did, I did play Animal Crossing for a long time, especially during the pandemic, uh, just prior to my daughter being born, but if I went back now, I'm pretty sure my villagers would hate me. I'd like to do some more of the characters from Animal Crossing. I'd quite like to do um, Tom Nook. I think he's just the villain of the, the entire franchise, but I think it'd be brilliant to do him with some like money bags, and yeah, it'd be great. I'm Matt Daniels, thanks for watching the video. Please check out more of my work in the links in the description below. Uh, Marvel, Spider-Man.
probably play a game. Last of Us 2. Cartoons. Adventure Time. Studio Ghibli. Spirited Away. Currently The Batman. Summer Holiday. Going back to Japan again. <laughs>